Welcome back to another Ultra Arena Climb video and today we are running the Evasion Team. This was a recommendation from somebody in the comments and I was like, wow, I didn't even think of that. That's actually a really cool idea. So we're going to run characters. Every one of these characters has some ability to evade. Like Hawks gives it as a passive whenever people join the battle. Or Araka can give it as one of her action skills. Uh, Shigaraki gives it as part of his passive. Najira gives it as part of her ultimate. Blue Deku gets his as part of his passive. So a bunch of evasion there. I could actually run. Hold up. I need to... Oh, shoot, I, I'm gonna switch out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can make this better. I can make this even better. We're gonna, I'm, I'm not missing the opportunity to do this, right? I'm gonna put, uh, where is it? If I can find it, I need the memory. Dull Summertime, there we go. I'm gonna put Dull Summertime on there as well. More evasion. So if there wasn't enough evasion already, now we have evasion. We have action skill cooldown time with those memories. Hopefully I can make this team work. We're gonna start out with an easy team. Then we're gonna go to a medium hard team and then a hard team. Three matches per video. That is how we've been doing all these videos. This is the easy team for First, 389,000 battle power for me, 296,000 battle power for them. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting out, you can see we all have evasion, we all have action skill, cooldown time, which is beautiful. Those two things work out really well together. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to go after Steampunk Deku first. He actually scares me more than Vigilante Deku right now, I think. And we're going to go for the increase in speed with that. We're going to go for the, I think we want the counter, right? Yeah, we don't want the evasion yet. And then we're going to go for the, what do we want to do here? Uh, let's also go for the AOE here. I think that'll work out pretty well. And we do have turn advantage as well, so that's nice. Hopefully I don't miss my tap on our Araka. Okay, I got it. Let's go. Uh, if you don't know in this game, counters go faster than any other skill in the game, so be careful when you use counters not to miss your skill chains because that can mess you up a lot. Hawks is my weakest character, so it makes sense that they're targeting Hawks because I do not have his basic ability board past like seven. And it's just a character I haven't really heavily invested in because he was good at one point, but only at one point, and that was the very beginning of the game. After that, he's kind of fallen off. So I haven't really invested in him too much because I got him way after the beginning of the game. I didn't have him early on. Uh, this hopefully kills. Nope. Okay. More evasion though. All right, there we go. Now he's dead. I probably should have done that in a slightly different order so I didn't waste my dull summertime evasion on top of a Rocka's evasion, but that's okay. I'll try to remember that <laughs> in the future uh, turns. Okay, I did not get plus ultras with anyone either. No plus ultra gauge rates with this team. That's gonna be rough. Glad Shigaraki had some evasion right there. That's gonna make this hard. Uh, we got our action skills back though. That's not too bad. And we'll do a plus ultra here. The AoEs are nice between these two, at least, I will say that. Oh my gosh! Okay, Perdition Shigaraki, man. You know what? I, I underrated him. I still, you know what? He, he's better than the blue one, at least. If you guys have seen one of my recent videos, I was using blue Shigaraki, and like I was so disappointed. I'm still disappointed in him to this day. So, I will take that. I will take that. Okay. I need a way to get like more plus Ultra Gauge, though. Uh, but already... Already my action skills take too long because Uraka didn't even have her action skills back there with two cooldown memories. That's crazy that, uh, how do I do this? Is there, maybe I'll, I think I'll have to take Dull Summertime off and put a plus ultra gauge rate memory up on everybody. I think that might be what I have to do. So we'll see. Okay, hopefully I fixed the uh, plus ultra gauge issue maybe with the memory I have. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But 324,000 battle power on this enemy team. Now that is a little bit closer to our battle power. It's a medium hard team because they have two sting punk characters on their team. And then Uraraka is obviously not that great, but like it, 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 it's an okay team. So I think I feel like it'll give us a decent challenge, at least more of a challenge than the last team. And then for the final match, we'll take on, you know, a really hard character, like mostly celebration and or steampunk slash fantasy characters. We'll see how it goes though. Okay, so we have evasion at the start and I did take off the whole summertime, so I'm missing that evasion like piece. But at the same time, hopefully it's going to allow me to get my plus ultra. So hopefully it's a good trade off. We'll see. Need to get the counter up for Uraraka. Got that, beautiful. Nice AOE and remove buffs. And the evasion coming through. And evasion doesn't mean much against bullseye characters, so keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go after Deku first because I feel like he can do the bigger damage and then we'll go after Bakugo. I think that's the move here. Not very good damage there. Okay, like no damage there, jeez. Okay. 
All right, a lot of dodges there. That was beautiful. That helped us out a lot. He healed a ton. And we still don't have our plus ultra gauge, but, uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so the memory did kick in. It just wasn't showing it right away. Okay, so hopefully that fixes our problem of not having our plus ultra gauge. And then next turn, we'll have all our action skills up with our Araka and everything. Hopefully, assuming everything works the way I'm thinking it's going to. Uh, okay, yeah, plus ultra. So here we go. Let's see how much damage we do here. 4,000, like, no damage. Okay, even against the medium hard team, we're already struggling. 4,000 damage. Why is he so tanky? Did they put a defensive memory on this guy? Like, holy crap. They must have. They must have put, like, a speed defensive memory or something. I don't know, man. They did something. Something funky. Okay, Hawks, way to dodge, man. My goat. Okay, Shigaraki took some damage there, but we're actually okay. All right, now we're actually doing some damage to Deku. Oh, Araka still doesn't have her skills up, man. That's tragic. All right, AoE. AoE. Dude, we're doing nothing to deck. I'm so confused. What memory? What is going on? Okay, we need to go after Bakugo, I guess, because we're just... Yo, I feel like we're getting him low, though. I I can finish him, right? I can finish him. The normal attacks are doing more damage. Okay. Come on, kill him. 4,000. Yes! Okay, before we even got the plus ultra. Beautiful. Hawks dies here, but we got, we got one dead. Oh, actually... No, Hawks is still gonna die. Hawks is still gonna die. <laughs> Goodbye, Hawks. It's all right. We traded out for arguably better characters. I'm not gonna lie. We may not get the perfect, but uh, here we go. All right, you need to go now. Please die, Bakugo. All right. Uh, oh, don't kill Najira. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now we got two healers, right? Oh, and a nice little cheeky counter there. Okay. Beautiful. And we'll do all of these here. You can die. Nice little evasion there and some healing. She does nothing because we have the evasion. We're good. We got this locked up. Ooh, we struggled on the medium hard team. If we're going to take on a hard team, we're in trouble. Oh, <laughs> we are in trouble. All right. Plus ultra with everybody. He's going to have a barrier for all of them if he does have a skill upgraded. But we had the AoE with Najire, which is nice. He did not have the skill upgraded, so this actually hits and kills. Okay, if you upgrade the basic board on that blue Kirishima, though, he gets three barriers, which is a lot better than two, obviously, because you are able to survive all three plus ultras on a plus ultra turn, which is nice. But there we go. I'm interested to see who did the most damage on this match, so let's take a look at the battle log really quickly and see who did the most damage here. And it was Najire in like two to three turns. She was out three turns. She was out three turns and she did more damage than anyone else on the main slots. And then Deku did more damage than any of them too. But I wanted to run those characters on the main slots because they're characters that I feel like we never get to see, right? So there's no point in running characters that are OP like Najire uh, all the time. So I wanted to give those other characters a chance to shine. And Najire was my backup because technically she counts as an evasion character, even though she is just so broken <laughs> but let's go ahead and take on a very hard team now i'm gonna be straight up with you guys i think we are losing this but uh we'll see i'm gonna switch the memory here a little bit i'm gonna take this memory and put it on uraka and i think that'll work out a little bit better uh because now this memory also gives uh every three turns shorten shortens character's cooldown time by one up to two times so now she's getting reduction from that memory as well as the other memories so hopefully that'll give us what we need to happen i don't know we'll see but 489,000 battle power versus my 387,000. they have an actual good comp with steampunk bakugo celebration deku celebration yairozu and then on the sub slots uh steampunk deku and celebration todoroki like we're losing this we're straight up if if we win this i will be impressed but in my mind i'm, I'm going in with like we're probably losing this but that doesn't mean i'm not going to give it my best shot so we'll try okay here we go i we need to go probably after bakugo first i would like to after deku to get rid of the double healer like but at the same time no we have to go after deku first like i want to get rid of bakugo because of the bullseye but like nah deku is a bigger problem actually all right so this is what we got to do we are slower which sucks but uh we'll see we'll see how this goes okay we're gonna lose a lot of health right here we have that evasion for the first hit at least which is nice aoe counter AOE, remove buffs, which is good because they just gave buffs, so we got to remove those buffs right away, which is not bad. 
Uh, Hawks is already kind of low though. Um, they have two healing moves here. Only one that's actually going to hit is Bakugo, and then we get the evasion for the normal attack, so it might be okay. It actually might be okay. Alright, so we hit him. Heal. And defense down on him. Okay. We'll take that. Got all of our plus ultras coming up. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and use those here. Bakugo actually doesn't have his plus ultra, which is nice. And our Shigaraki goes first. Zero damage. Okay. He's too tanky. We're running into the same problem. And Hawks is dead. 100%. Yep. By Hawks, but arguably we've traded out for a better character now, so uh, yeah. Nice, nice counter, okay. Oh my gosh, Uraka still doesn't have her skills up. It's, uh, it's so rough. Okay. Uraka is literally like ruining the team. Single handedly ruining the team. Okay. It is what it is. Nijire's dead. Okay, yeah, we, we lost. Do you guys, I guess we can launch, we can finish it out. We can let Deku try to do something, you know, but he's not. We're not get. we're not, it's done. <laughs> it's finished. Yeah, 7,000 damage and dead. 99,000, yeah, the, the old characters just can't even compete with the celebration steampunk characters. Like, we got absolutely freaking destroyed, but uh, that's kind of how I expected it to go, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the team, the evasion team. Let me know your thoughts if you think there's a better way to do it, if there's characters you would rather see on the evasion team, because there is plenty of characters with evasion in the game, right? So we can try switching this team up as much as we want. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see other teams, specifically what teams you guys want to see in the comments. I do read pretty much all the comments on all these videos. I may not always respond, but I do read them, and I'm making videos based on the comments you guys leave. I've already done a couple of teams. This was a team right here, recommended or requested to me and so leave a comment what teams you guys want to see i will read it i will try to build those teams and i will try an easy medium and hard team like i did right here and see if we can win each of those difficulties thank you guys so much for watching peace